Pediatrician Jerry Ann Janista has three adopted daughters, and although her specialty is infectious disease, she spends 60 to 70 percent of her time counseling families about adoption. Perception of the public is that you apply to an agency, you pay zillions of millions of dollars, and you wait forever and ever and ever, and you're never going to end up with a child, and that's just not true. Adoption has changed dramatically. Anybody can adopt today. There are vastly more children waiting for adoption than families. In fact, single parents are adopting in greater and greater numbers. What in many states was illegal 20 years ago is now fairly common. Today, approximately 25% of the adoptions of children with special needs are by single men and women, and they account for about 5% of all other adoptions. As time has gone on and single parents have shown themselves to be quite successful in raising all kinds of children, handicapped children, older children, the concept has very much changed, especially about women, that they may be actually the parent of choice for some children. Gail Hughes is one of this growing number of single parents of adopted children. It's what I wanted to do. It was easy. It, people say, as a single mom, you could adopt as a single mom? Oh, yeah. Believing she was unable to conceive a child of her own, Gail adopted twins Stacy and Tracy when they were 18 months old and their younger brother Mitchell a month later. Then she became pregnant with Mallory. What are the feelings that I have for her? They're no different. They're no different at all. I, I love them all the same. Their labor was easier. Hers was harder. That, that's the only difference. They asked me, you know, did she, she came out of your tummy and we were in another mommy's tummy and I was like, yeah, but that mommy loved you too. And she waited until she found me to take care of you, so we're okay. okay let's see. It may be difficult to imagine a single woman adopting three children on her own, but single family households are becoming increasingly common. I've never seen this. Of 71 million children under 18 years of age in the United States, nearly 20 million live with a single parent. That's more than half of this country's African-American children, nearly one-third of its Hispanic children, and one-fifth of its Caucasian children. With so many children living in this type of household, adoption agencies have become more willing to consider unmarried men and women as prospective adopters. It's not to say that it's as easy as it is for a couple, it isn't. It's still harder. You have to pay for all that childcare all by yourself. You need to have some kind of resources to help you when you're sick and your daycare won't take your kid because they have chicken box. It does require a different kind of support system to be a single adoptive parent. All the support, you need all the support. You can't ever think that you can totally do it alone. Sometimes you need somebody to call and say, what do I do about this? Stacy just said this or Tracy just said this, what do I do? And I call my sister. She's a big help because she's kind of been through this age already. Adoption is not for everyone, but with 117,000 children waiting to be adopted in this country alone, Dr. Janista and Gail Hughes wish more adults, married and single, would consider it. That was the first day you came home. There's so many kids that need parents, that want to be parents. It's a busy job, but it's, it's great. I'm so glad I did it.